Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part two of our series of session on F12 configuration for vouchers. Now this F12 configuration is very important and very critical for you to manage your masters and also the voucher entry experience. I just want to share a recent experience that one of my client was using Tally for, I can say, almost six to seven years. Now, they had some issue with their system, so they had to reformat their hard disk and Tally was installed. So they were using Tally ERP9. So after installing Tally, when he was trying to pass a payment entry and a receipt entry, he was not getting the double entry mode of entry. So he called me and he said, sir, there is some problem in Tally. So earlier I was getting this debit credit and now I'm not getting this debit credit. It is in a single entry mode and uh, it is asking for account number. Nowhere there is debit and credit. So I told him that no problem, just press F12 configuration and there is an option in under F12 configuration, it says use single entry mode for receipt, payment and contra, make that as no. So this is so simple. So why I'm relating this incident to you, all of you is that the F12 configuration plays a very important role in all your aspects of tally working, where starting from master, voucher entry, and also in the reporting. So I hope these series will help the regular user or the new users of tally to understand these configurations and enable these configurations so that you go, they have a better experience of working with tally. Let's continue with a couple of more options that are available for payment voucher under F12 configuration. In the last session, we saw two options under F12 configuration with simple configuration. That is use debit credit instead of to and buy. And also we saw the other option of provide suppliers invoice or reference number and date. In today's session, let us understand two more options that is one on negative cash balance and we will understand the option of pre-allocate bills for payment receipt and journal voucher. Let's go to tally and explore these options. So let us come to vouchers and we are in the payment voucher. So I'll press F12 configure and by default one on negative cash balance will be yes. So what is this option and how this option can be leveraged? Now let's come back to the cash balance. So I'm going to press Alt G and I'm going to say cash and bank book. Okay. So the cash balance as on date, which is as on 1st of March is 17,000. Now let us say I'm going to make a payment through cash and let's see what happens. So I'm going to say 2nd of March. Okay, I'm going to say I'm going to make a salary payment. So I type salaries. So salary ledger is not there. So either you can take your cursor and click on create or you can use Alt C to create the master. So I'm creating a ledger salaries under indirect expenses. And I'm going to press control A. So I'm going to pay a salary of say 20,000 rupees. And I've debited salaries 20,000. Credit, I'm going to say cash. Okay, enter. And now you see my cash balance is become negative. So we saw the cash balance was only 17,000. Now with this voucher of 20,000 payment through cash, the cash balance will go into negative. So the negative balance, it will show in red font. So if you're trying to save, now this is the warning 
that you are going to get if you are enabled the option warn for negative cash balance okay so this way you know that there is a negative cash balance appearing after this so that necessary cash inward or necessary adjustment can be done by you now supposing let us assume that let me come back and say f12 configure and say one for negative cash balance i am going to say as no enter control a and now let's see what happens so i am going to do the same thing i have already created the ledger so i am going to select salaries 20000 okay credit cash it in any case going to show you 3000 negative but what happens is if you notice the warning of negative cash is not getting displayed so that is the option of enabling this option warn for negative cash balance so you make this as yes control a and now when you are passing the entry you are going to get this warning so let's go to the next option so let's just come back come to payment voucher press f12 and let us understand the option pre allocate bills for payment receipt and voucher entry so this is basically going to help you in case of enabling bill wise detail for trading and non trading account also so what is this pre allocate bill for payment receipt and journal voucher so by default this option is going to be no and uh, if this option is no first let us see how the entry in your payment or in your receipt or journal voucher is going to behave so i am we will leave this as no now and let us say i am making a payment to my creditor so i come here and i select my sundry creditor as global distributors and when i select the party and enter it is now going to ask me how much is the amount that i am going to make payment so let us say i am going to make a payment of 5 lakh and once i enter the amount now the bill wise detail is going to open i am going to select against reference now the list of invoice is going to come so now the amount of 5 lakhs i have to now set it off against the pending bill right so either i can set it off against this particular bill or whichever bill i want to do it okay so this way what happens when you are making multiple invoices payment then you have to literally go through the outstanding amount in the invoice calculate the total amount and then you are going to enter the amount here and then once the bill wise detail screen opens you are going to select against reference and then you are going to set off against those invoice so this becomes little extra work and you need to do additional calculation and other thing so with the help of enablement of pre allocating of your bills it helps you to select the bills for which you want to make payment and if you have selected multiple bills the entire amount will get added up and it will get populated in the amount column see that is the advantage of enabling the option pre allocation okay let's come back for a fresh entry so i come to voucher entry so before i make a payment to my creditors i'll press f12 configuration and let us now enable this option pre allocate bills for payment receipt and journal voucher so in all these three voucher type whenever you are making a payment to any party or when you are receiving money from any of your customers by using any of these three vouchers the pre allocation of the bill will appear so i'm going to make this as yes press control a and now let us see what happens so i'm going to select global distributors now the moment i select the party and enter the bill wise detail is going to open before you enter the amount so here it becomes much much easier for you so let's say you're going to make payment against multiple invoice so you select the against reference now it is going to give you the list of all the invoices which are outstanding and you can now select this invoice like for example let us say 
I want to clear off the entire balance of 21,80,000 against this invoice. Okay. And also, I want to clear another bill which is outstanding since June 20. So I'm going to enter here. So this is the total amount. So 34,35,000 is what now I want to make payment. So once I've done this, I come here and then I break the allocation by selecting end of list. And you will notice that automatically the total value of the bills that you have selected gets populated here. And since you have used the credit bank ledger, it will automatically recall your previous ledger and you can enter here and then you can save this. I hope these options would definitely help you for those of you who are not aware of this option and the behavior especially the pre-allocation is going to really help in case where you are going to receive amount or make payment for multiple bills against the pending invoices. So in the next session, we will see a couple of more options and we will explore what is the benefit of these options by enabling or by disabling. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.